wife and I got married in 56, but I bought the property the year before. I had to sell my sailboat to buy the property. <laughs> I like, like I say, I like being near the water. I like the rural life, because most of my life was rural, I guess. All the people, the different people I've met over the years. Nice people. I suppose when the special thing is going to the big beach at the park after a big storm, maybe not when the people are around, uh, you know, in the height of summer or anything like that, but maybe in early spring after some big storm and seeing the big, huge big trees smashed on the rocks, very picturesque style, and then seeing what debris is being washed up, you know, and seeing the sun peering through the clouds after, you know, after the big rainstorms and everything like that. It's, especially if it's the time when nobody's around. Or then, of course, the memories of visiting little cabins and the, uh, you know, and the, all the artistic people who used to live there at Stanley Jackson's place. It was so much more romantic than nowadays. My favorite part of living here, fresh air, no push, a good view, lots of friends. I didn't have shoes on at all until I was three years old. Dark on shoes are a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we get around the bare feet, all right. <laughs> Barnacles, so what? <laughs> I've been part of an education project which is called From the Forest to the Sea, Watershed Education. And so our goal is to be able to have youth come to the island and recognize and respect the many different ecosystems that are found here. Ecosystems on Galliano are quite different than, say, inner city Vancouver. And some of these kids have never even held a crab or a sea star before. So for them to come to a place like Montague Harbor and explore the intertidal zone and actually find these creatures and hold them and see that they're real, not just something that they've Googled on the internet. It's pretty mind-blowing to them. Of course, when I first moved here, the um, First Nations people were the ones I first made friends with, so I've always been close to them. I've taken the local school here to visit the native community on Cooper Island, backwards and forwards on these little boats, that uh, children would be better able to make friends with each other than the grown-ups are. It, it means a lot to me. We started the fire department about the time that I uh, started the marina. <laughs> Forty years with the volunteer fire department, one of the founding members. The last 25 years I was the chief. And that was, I think, 04, I think, when I retired. And I still keep in touch with them. I was a postmaster from 1928 until 1960. Mum and Dad, they both loved the island, worked hard for it. So I should start with the uh, native settlement of Montague. Um, the, um, it was a, the whole, that whole side of the island was very important for uh, all the clam beds. If you've been to the Montague Park, you can see the huge middens, the thousands of years of uh, shellfish that have been piled up and then washed out to create the shell beaches there. Well, I would say the one thing that's unique at Montague Harbour is actually we have Gary Oak ecosystem here, and the Gary Oak ecosystem is an endangered ecosystem. The main point of interest would be the uh, intertidal zone, so we do try and coincide our programs when the tide is low. And so when the kids come with their teachers, we'll explore some of the rocky outcrops at Montague here and we'll find interesting creatures like sea cucumbers, sea anemones, and chitons, and uh, a lot of other interesting things. We usually see bald eagles, turkey vultures, and great blue herons. The harbour is very clean, the water's pristine, it's nice to go swimming even though it's a bit on the cool side. It's very nice to go swimming there. Um, there's lots of wildlife all around here. 
dad picked Montague Harbor for our vacation spot because he came here 20 years ago and he liked it. He brought us and we decided it was really a nice spot. Uh, we come back here every year, the last week of the summer for a vacation and it's just become a tradition. We come here because it's a, the beauty of the place. It's very unique with the, the forest here, the beach, the water, very calm, peaceful place to be. As far as I'm concerned, anything to do with Galliano is a happy memory. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> well, I'm not planning on that. Mm -hmm.